look at this thing. This is the Iwata Genius Light 03. It is an RGB light. It is the size of a very small iPhone 5-ish. It's incredible. It's so thin, it's light, it's compact. We're gonna talk about this in this video. Let's get into it. What is going on guys? My name is Jason Morris. Today we're gonna to be talking about the iWater GL03, which is this genius light right here. It's an RGB light. I'm gonna turn it off. There we go, turn it off. It is extremely powerful, extremely useful. I actually use the uh, GL01, which is just a regular uh, LED panel. You can probably see it in the background right there. I use it pretty much on every single video that I make. Either it's a background light or a very, very small key light for product photography and videography. But obviously these are really good because you can put them in a whole bunch of different small places uh, that you wouldn't normally do with a massive uh, studio light. Now let's dive directly into some of the settings and see what you can get out of this light right here. So the iWater GL03 has a hue adjustment range of 0 to 360 degrees. It has a saturation adjustment range from 0 to 100%. The color temperature ranges from about 3000 to 5500 Kelvin. Color range is rated at CRI 96, which is great. That is really accurate. Now this little LED light has a lithium battery that has a capacity of 2300 milliamp hour. And this thing only weighs 138 grams. That is incredibly light and small. Great portability and awesome to travel with. Really, it, it's an extremely good build. And honestly, this is for everyone. This is for professional use. This is for YouTubers, uh, video makers, whoever you are, photographers you can make uh, something useful out of this. It's really, really handy. I do find uh, that it is obviously very good for like a kick light or a backlight, an available source light, so you can put it in the background. So I've used this in my recent little video, uh, as you can probably see right now. It's in the background. You can see it's a nice sort of teal sort of look. It adds to the wall. Uh, you can change this thing for a whole bunch of different colors. You do have this little thing on the back here. It shows you exactly what color you are in when you go into the settings. So you don't get lost when you are searching for a particular color. Now there are seven different settings that you can have on this thing as well. First one is fire. So it can look like a candle. It can look like a fireplace or even a bonfire. The next one's lightning. So it has intermittent lightning, frequent lightning, and continuous lightning. The next one is firework, has regular short fireworks, continuous fireworks, and the last one is a massive fireworks show. There is a warning light that features a police car, a fire truck, or even an ambulance. It also has a rotating hue disc, so it goes slow, medium, or fast. There is a party function, so you can have it like a birthday party, a home party, or even a club. And lastly, it has photo flash. So it mimics the look of say something to do with product launch, a press conference, and paparazzi. Now, because this thing is extremely affordable, YouTubers would actually find this very useful. And I definitely recommend you pick up some form of small LED light. Plane just flew over. That was loud, that was low. Man, it is noisy today. What is going on? Anyway, uh, so this thing, like I said, YouTubers would find this very useful because you can change uh, a whole bunch of different colors. You can get that teal and orange look. You can create uh, a nice sort of tungsten light out of this. You can create that teal light to put in the background, like I've got my LED panel here. 
you can create something very similar with this one. So there is a cool feature on this that actually has a warning symbol. So if it is a little bit too cold, it'll actually tell you there's a little icicle symbol in the LED panel on the back at the top. Fantastic to warn you if it's too cold or if it's too hot and overheating, there's an actual uh, little heat signal thingamabob in there to let you know that this thing is a little bit too hot. So that is a really cool feature of this thing. Now, well, at the top surface right here, the iWater GL01 is a very clean um, and clear surface, whereas this one is a bit of a matte surface. So what it actually does is it diffuses it a little bit. So the GL01 actually has a diffusion panel that you can put over the top. This one doesn't come with a diffusion panel, but uh, it is a matte finish, so it is uh, it can create a nice sort of soft light. So you can keep it, um, you can use it as a fill light, which is fantastic. Um, if you do want just that little bit of fill in that shadow sort of area, you can use it as a rim light or a hair light if you want to come down at the back. Um, so it all depends. You can obviously put it in further distance so it's not in frame. Now, like I said, you can go through that hue and saturation mode. So you can pretty much change the hue. I will just adjust this right here. So I'll adjust the intensity and you can see going through the hue range. Look at that background. That's damn cool. You can change it to whatever color you want. Now on the sides, it does uh, have USB-C charging, which is really good because that's becoming the norm these days. The GL01 has a micro USB charging, which is perfectly fine because a lot of things are still micro USB. But a lot of things are changing into USB-C, which obviously this is a little bit more future-proof, which is cool. And it does have a nice sort of aluminium-ish, I don't even know what frame it is, but it's, it's metal. It is a nice metal construction. So it is very quality. And the cool thing is, it comes with a nice little case, which I've used um, pretty much quite since I've got it. Slip it straight into this case. Boom, look at that nice little traveling case. It just slips straight into your bag. Perfect, it's awesome little setup here. So that is a quick video from me, guys, for this iWater GL03 light. Um, it's an RGB light, LED panel, super small, compact, extremely useful for any video creator or a photographer. The link is in the description below if you do want to pick this thing up. It is incredible. I absolutely love it. Per Gear did send me this though. Um, so just as a disclaimer, they didn't pay me to make this review. I just wanted to make a review of this. Um, I've got the GL01, like I said. I use both of them now. This thing has just increased uh, the capabilities of what I can do with a portable RGB light, which is amazing. You definitely, definitely should consider getting one. Anyway, guys, please hit that like button if you could. Comment below if you have any questions uh, about this LED light. Um, my name's Jason Morris, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, let's get it.